In your need to know news, this weekend the USA BMX Gold Cup Championship race is being hosted in East Moline after being gone for six years. Yeah, TV6's Joshua Blount joins us live from the East Moline BMX Speedway this morning. And Joshua, there's going to be a lot of racers hitting the track this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be very busy. More than 800 riders are going to be out here rolling on their bikes trying to secure that win. And I actually am joined by one of the riders, Miss Kitty Western Nauer. Uh, just talk to me. So, you know, I've been hanging out all morning. I'm hearing that you're a true legend around here. Just talk, talk to me about that a little bit. Well, people say I'm a legend. I'm the oldest female in the nation at 75 who races BMX. I've been doing this for 35, going on 36 years. Um, this is a sport, this was our family sport. And as a family, my husband, oldest son, and I raced all over the United States and Canada. Um, you know, he's an adult now with his own children. And so I continue to be involved in the sport of BMX. And you know, just with that, what has been some of your, you know, biggest challenges along the way? The first major challenge was the fact that uh, we did not have, that is we women did not have our own cruiser class back in the 80s. I raced with the men. As a matter of fact, my husband and I are same age, so I raced with him. Um, and so I did spend time working with our sanctioning bodies, getting women who wanted to be a part of this involved in the sport of BMX. Now, as years progressed, um, are there more black women in the sport today? I'd like to say yes, but that's not true. There are just a handful of us. Uh, I'm in Iowa. There's another woman who lives uh, in the south somewhere. Uh, uh, actually, another old, well, she's younger than I am because she's 63, uh, lives in Texas. Uh, you know, we, we're just not involved in this particular sport. And, you know, my, my last question I just want to ask is, uh, you know, with that experience, what advice can you give the young riders so they can last in this sport as long as you have? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I can tell you about the sport of BMX is a great way to maintain your health and well-being because you have to do what needs to be done in order to be able to get out here on this track and, and be competitive. Uh, so that's what I really love about this sport. It has allowed me to continue uh, to be this young old lady. Great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you this morning. Okay, so pre-races are starting today at 5. Uh, practices start at 1 here at the East Moline BMX Speedway. Come out. It's going to be very busy. I'm hearing that the more than 800 people or 800 riders who are going to be out here today can actually potentially draw in nearly $400,000 to the area. Again, so it's going to be very busy. Come out. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Joshua, and we're excited to see Kitty as she gets on her way this weekend. Now, the event is free, and uh, you only have to worry about paying for parking, which is only $10.